All right, so I'm going to start off with Management Reporter. Uh, Management Reporter is simply a financial reporting tool exclusively. It is uh, not meant to produce reports wrapped around manufacturing or inventory or any of those types of applications. It is specifically financial data. Uh, it, is, uh, it has great flexibility to provide reports for either internal or external review. Uh, it, it is really the replacement for FRX, for any of you that are familiar with that. One of the great pieces of functionality included in a management reporter, just like FRX, is the ability to drown, drill down into your data. So as you're analyzing, whether you're doing first pass of your financials or whether you're um, um, you know, producing your final copy, you'll have the ability, or reviewing a final re a report as a department manager, you'll be able to drill into some additional information and the level of that can be defined by you. Also, uh, one of the nice things about uh, um, Management Reporter is, is that you're actually not working inside of Dynamics GP. <clears throat> there are designer users, there are viewer users, so many of your users may actually have viewer licenses only. That gives them the ability to uh, read their reports but not actually change anything in the report in regards to what information it's pulling out of Dynamics GP. In this case, I'd say that uh, in general, uh, Management Reporter is moderately easy to use. Um, it, uh, it certainly takes some knowledge and some uh, expertise to, uh, to use. There are components of it that uh, you need to make sure you understand. Um, but ultimately, it can be a, f a fairly easy tool to use. Typically, we see <coughs> your financial team will be using this tool. Uh, controllers, financial analysts, uh, et cetera, are most common users of this. Uh, in regards to viewer users, oftentimes we see in some organizations you may find uh, departmental heads uh, or management level people may be getting uh, distribution of reports as well. And those folks uh, may have, uh, maybe, uh, have read only or um, viewer licenses only. So in the real world, what we're producing here is uh, gap level financial statements. Uh, board and executive committee financial statements or financial packages. Uh, certainly, uh, Management Reporter does a fantastic job of consolidating multiple companies. If your organization has multiple legal entities, uh, we have the ability to consolidate those uh, uh, fairly easily using what's called a reporting tree definition. Um, also, a very common usage for it is budget versus actual. And also, there's a significant, with that reporting tree, there's significant uh, uh, capabilities in regards to rolling up uh, different pieces, departments, divisions, et cetera, within your organization to produce a uh, financial statement. So what I would wanted to talk about is a couple things here. Uh, within the release of Dynamics GP 2015, there's now functionality. Dynamics GP users can launch their management reporter reports directly from uh, GP. Now these reports are then, uh, uh, you know, output the way you would uh, you have them set up to do, and uh, so they are all accessible based upon the security that you're given to produce those financials. So keep that in mind. Uh, there is a little bit of setup. It just this came about in 2015. Uh, Management Reporter is an external app, so this is just really creating a path to allow you to launch those reports out of the solution and making your navigation a little bit easier. And this is just a screenshot of uh, the, the look and feel. So any of you that are on FRX, you should rest assured that your row column and uh, reporting tree uh, knowledge will serve you well as you uh, continue to use the application. Uh, you can see here that uh, I'm actually in a report definition, but uh, down the side here I have my reports, my rows, my columns, my reporting trees. Uh, I can define the individual reports that I'd like to print. Uh, one thing that's nice in Management Reporter is the ability to categorize or group of reports into folders. So you can see I've done that here. What I am selecting is a 12-month trend income statement and I'm simply going to generate that report for the month of April in 2017 based upon my 
data in my demo environment. So uh, this does queue up the reports a little differently than what you're used to if you're using FRX, but it, uh, it uh, does a couple things that are really nice. It creates a report library so that I have the ability tomorrow to come back in and say, I printed that report at 2 o'clock yesterday. I'd like to see a copy of that report. So um, it really does make it nice in that regard. So a couple things that I can do that makes this a little different. I, I'm printing this to the, uh, the screen here, but what I have the ability to do is select a particular row. You can see that I can highlight the entire row. Uh, when I do that, it exposes some uh, graphic capabilities, so I can select column, and I can actually do some graphing of my financial statements right on the screen. So you can see that uh, here that I can see trends in regards to, in this case, salary expense, but you know it depends on what rows you select. Uh, another thing that's very useful uh, within Management Reporter is the ability to attach notes. So I can attach notes to a row simply by clicking on the plus sign and typing in uh, uh, my notes here. So I could say salaries, expense has increased due to seasonal uh, growth. And simply, oh, and I actually lost my note there, but ultimately then an icon would show up right next to that. So in regards to Management Reporter, there's a lot that I can do. I can drop these reports out into Excel if I choose to. Uh, I can uh, also uh, publish them to SharePoint so people can access them via an intranet, uh, et cetera. So that's Management Reporter, and like I said, it's specifically for financial statements. So Management Reporter is a powerful tool. Uh, there's a lot more functionality that I'm talking about here, but for those of you that are interested in learning more, certainly feel free to reach out to us.